All right, good afternoon, I'm Todd Carmier with Carmier RC Trailers. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. It's not the planes, it's not the jets. I'm actually doing maintenance on my version one, this Geico Twin 36. Uh, there's been a few instances where these boats are cracking. Um, I do have a couple of stress cracks on the back. Uh, we're gonna contact Horizon and see what they do. Um, but normally on maintenance on these boats, everybody knows who's actually run them the boats, the trailers, the trucks, everything needs maintenance. Uh, pull your flex shafts, grease them, make sure everything is dry inside. And the best thing to do, I recommend, is run them. Just like a real boat. If you don't run it, it's going to be broken every time you go to use it. Uh, let them dry out. When you store them, after you run them, take the hatch off. Let it dry completely out. Get as much moisture out of there as possible. Uh, right here, my, my neighbor's pond right next door to my place. I don't have much really room to run it but I can make it stretch its legs. Uh, we all know this boat is capable of, you know, they say 75 miles an hour. I, I believe it. Uh, it's a great handling boat. It's heavy. Uh, hopefully with the version threes, with the, the infrastructure, it's strong enough where they don't crack. But let's be honest, if you crash a boat at 75 miles an hour, it's gonna break. A real boat will break, but you know, some people complain about it. I'm just pretty much running it right now. I'm not even really getting over half throttle. Unbelievably fast. But it handles, handles well. Handles performance good. It handles everything good. Oh, don't bounce around too much. I did make some adjustments on the drive truck. I typically run it in uh, a little bit of choppy water, so I adjusted my struts down to keep the bow down a little bit. It did take a little, a little bit away from the top speed, but it gives it a little bit better handling capability. I'm actually running on two 6S 5000 milliamp battery packs that are actually running my jets. The batteries are all the way forward and strapped down. Uh, I find that's the sweet spot, but like I said, I adjusted my drives down a little bit to make the, the bow get into the water a little bit more on top speed. Uh, all in all, it's holding up pretty well. Uh, the grease I use to grease the, the shafts uh, is regular marine grease. Uh, you can use hobby grade, but I have marine grease that I use on my boats, uh, my real boat, so I use that. Uh, as well as trailer maintenance. Whenever you maintain on the trailers, you do have to put grease on my axles where the axles are sliding inside the, the trailer frames. Uh, it just helps with a little bit more mobility. Sometimes they'll start to squeak when you're using them in water uh, and just keeping them pretty much clean. But I just wanted to do this little short video 
for you today uh, while I was doing this maintenance run on the Geico and uh, let y'all see what I what I do as far as uh, maintenance on the actual boat and trailer and all that. We got it all loaded up uh, today I'm pulling it with the new sin racing f450 uh, truck I made a few modifications to it not power wise but I'm using a spectrum radio with a spectrum receiver and I put a heavier bigger shock on the rear to uh, level the truck out when it's pulling uh, the stock shocks I had them cranked down all the way in the back and I didn't find it was uh, good enough it was still kind of sagging so I went with the 90 millimeter shocks on the rear. My buddy, uh, Corey Broussard with Louisiana Tactical kind of helped me out with that. So we trying different things. We, uh, I put the rear shocks on and I added a little bit of weight on the front of the truck uh, to keep it down as far as whenever I'm trying to pull it out of the water. I'll have a couple of videos on a regular boat launch uh, pretty soon, but this is just a little test to see how strong it really is. Uh, we're gonna pull it through the grass. We just had a little bit of rain, but uh, I think it'll get it through the grass. I might have a little trouble over there at the ditch. I might have to help it out, but uh, let's just see how it does. You been drinking? No. What happens when you try and drive with one hand? Y'all may recognize this. This is my runway. So far, it pulls it good. I think the added weight in the front made a big difference. But like I said, I'm about to have some problems right here. We'll see how strong it is. The rudder's going to drag. Let's just see. Yeah. Get the rudder caught. I'll have to make a little bridge or something. Pick it up. Let's see if it'll pull it out. And it's done. As you can tell, it Ooh. 
ground and works great. And it actually has a good bit of speed to it. But when you get to that off-road, I think I need to uh, do a couple of modifications. Maybe the differential lock on the rear now and add still more weight to the truck. I'm just curious to see if it's going to really be able to pull the boat out of the water. Uh, we're going to be making a couple of videos of that pretty soon. But, you know, it's a good starting point for the truck. In my honest opinion, uh, is it pull ready? No. Uh, there has to be some modifications done to it to be able to pull and tow heavy loads. Does it look great? Yes. Uh, looks very scale. But like I said, it needs a little bit of work to get everything done for what I need. Uh, there again. Thank you very much. And uh, Todd Carmi with Carmi RC Trailers.